All right, jumpstart your metabolism this year with a fat-burning workout that will kick your fitness routine into high gear. Joining me today is Giselle Cavillo with MixFit SA to share more. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having oh, us. These guys are already feeling the burn over here. Yes. What is a good fat-burning workout consist of? So what we try to recommend to our clients and through our classes is a multifunction workout. So you want to put two compound movements together. That's the way to burn the most fat. So don't just do just a squat, add right. a press to it. Right. And so build onto your exercises, progressing them to where you get more movement, more activation in more areas of the body so you can target all that. And we usually say push, pull, lift, squat, and hinge. So if you can stick to those five things, you'll get a total body, body workout, workout with whatever you do. Okay. So they're kind of giving an example of that. All right, so we've got some moves to show off. These right. are moves that you can do at home or at the gym. At right? home or at the gym, yeah. And what we use, it, it, the thing about mixed fit is we use hybrid unconventional training tools. So you'll see a steel mace here. You can use a dumbbell. You could use a ball. You could use a baby oh, holding right, right. out there doing some <laughs> static work for stability, for some core exercise. This, the stability exercises are really good to start with a warm-up. So you can kind of get everything going, get that blood flowing, um, get that heart rate up. And then we start going to more of a, an activation, more of a movement phase to where you can grab a dumbbell, a kettlebell, a jug, a baby, or whatever you'd like, um, and go into a squat press. So here we're putting a squat and a press together. So multi-movement, compound movements where you can get a, a squat, get a press, you're working more than one movement. And you can go on count or you can go on time. So it just depends on what you're feeling that day. So using your own body weight, of course, beneficial, but yes. adding a weight to it also is even, even more, more so. Beneficial. Yes. Right. It's always great to start with body weight exercises. Right. Those are great for the core, great for um, rotational movements and things like that. But anytime you can add a weight, obviously that's going to help out more so. Get a little bit more work, a little more challenge for the body. You need to challenge the body to change the body. Right. So don't be afraid of the challenge. <laughs> yeah. If you're not feeling that little bit of soreness, like especially the day after, you probably didn't do... Enough, enough, right? To right. But you don't want to be too, too much. sore. Correct. Exactly. Correct. So that's why we build our programming very specifically mm -hmm. for our clients and for our members to where they're as effective as possible. So again, push, pull, hinge, squat, and press. Keep to those five things and you'll be successful. Now, you recently had a baby. She's six, six weeks, weeks old. Yes, now, right? congratulations. Yes, yes, yes. No, I'm right behind you. <laughs> <laughs> um, what can expectant moms or even new moms do to kind of help stay fit? Well, what I would say is, you know, just being cleared myself to come back to exercise mm -hmm. is a lot of core work. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we lose that. Um, strength in our abdomen section and stuff. So coming down onto the floor, for example, um, there is a modification. If you're not feeling as comfortable in a full plank, maybe coming down to the knees. And then incorporating that weight, you know, doing, doing the stretching exercises, uh, doing the body weight exercises, but adding that extra weight is going to help to give more work. So right now they're doing a plank and then an assisted plank with a weighted pull through. The main thing that our coach Buck here is, is coaching them on is the stability phase. So you've got to maintain that stability while moving that weight. So um, any type of body weight exercises, you know, again, push, pull, hinge, squat, press. So that could be unweighted or weighted. Mm -hmm. And you have classes over at MixFit SA. We do. We have a ton of classes. We do uh, primal classes, which are just body weight classes. We do the hybrid unconventional training with the steel mace, steel clubs, Viking ninja stuff. But then we also have boxing. We have all this stuff the other gyms have, but we like to say we're a little extra special because <laughs> of, of the type of programming that we do. We don't just throw you out there. We're going to be very one-on-one, -on -one, personal training touch. And that's where our challenge comes in. That's right, because there's a New Year challenge, yes, correct? Yes, a New Year challenge. It's 179 but you get your eight eight weeks of meal planning, you get your eight weeks of classes, eight weeks of open gym, and you basically get a full-on spread of jump starting that new year. We're not just going to have you come in and work out. We're going to give you the tools to be successful. So that's another great thing about this challenge. So you should check it out. Oh, yeah. And have all your friends and family come check it out. And then when you're done with that baby, we'll take it. <laughs> yes, once I'm cleared, it's good to go. All right. Join Giselle and the entire MixFit crew for their new year, new challenge that starts January 14th. For more information, visit MixFitSA.com or head to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right, coming up. Sear salmon loaded with wild mushrooms and more goodness. That and more when SA Live returns.